I've had tons and tons of requests for first date makeup, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Now, there are lots and lots of different types of first date makeup. It depends, you know, who you are, what your normal makeup is, because you don't want to obviously completely change how you normally do your makeup. And it depends what kind of date you're going on, where you're going, what the kind of situation is. So I'm just going to talk through some of the basic um, ideas that I have about what I think a first date makeup should be. And then you can obviously adapt it to suit how you, you normally make yourself up and your personality. Right, so um, I think the first thing to say is that if you talk to most men, they will say that they don't really like makeup. Um, but this is interesting because... You could show pictures. A really good example is a couple of years ago, I was doing a big celebrity cover. And um, the celebrity in question normally wears quite a bit of makeup. And the art director and her manager and all these men said, oh, you know, we want to see her with very natural, hardly any makeup on, you know, very little on the eyes, you know, no eye makeup, you know, that would be great. So I kind of figured out what they really wanted was just lots and lots of makeup, but he doesn't really look like makeup. And I remember I did sort of false lashes, but they were very natural looking, a smoky eye, but again, very natural liner, brow, shading, all of this stuff. Um, but I did keep the skin very natural and the lips were very natural. And then she sort of came out and I said, you know, is that what you were, what sort of thing you were? Yes, perfect, perfect, you know, gorgeous like that with hardly any makeup on the eyes. So that's the kind of thing that I think men sort of, think that, you know, their idea of a lot of makeup tends to be a heavy base and sort of red lipstick or something. And then they think, God, you know, she wears so much makeup. So I think you can actually get away with wearing quite a bit of makeup and look very sort of fresh and healthy and, and all of that. So I'm going to start with the skin. I personally think the skin is the most important thing because you want your skin to look like you're not really wearing any foundation, you want it to look sort of perfect and almost tactile and touchable. Um, but at the same time, you need it, you know, you want it to look fresh and 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 lovely. Um, I'm going to use uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua today. And this foundation I have been wearing recently, and I like it because it's very, very thin. It's a water-based one. And um, it sort of looks more like a second skin. And I think this is the type of foundation that I would say works incredibly well. And don't worry, obviously if you've got spots and things to cover, you can do all that later. But um, the best way to apply this foundation actually is with fingers. So that's nice and fresh to start. The next thing I'm going to do is some blusher. I'm going to use this Sheer Cheek Gel by Pixie, and this is one of their, this is called Natural. And while the... Um, foundation still settling in. I'm going to use it now. This is a very, very thin gel. Just to give a little bit of very natural colour. Again, sort of cheating really, that very fresh, naturally healthy look. And just make sure all those edges are well blended in. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is use some highlighter. I'm going to use uh, an e.l.f. one. It's actually one of these shimmer creams from their face um, encyclopedia, I think it's called, yeah, Beauty Encyclopedia Face Palette. I'll probably use this one because it's sort of a, quite good for my skin tone, but if you're a little bit paler or a little bit more pink in your skin, you could use this one. Um, these are six pounds, which I think is an amazing value for money. So I'm just going to put a little dot of that around the top, and I'm using the finger that I just used my blusher with. I'm just going to blend that in. What it's going to do is catch the light, but it's not going to, again, look like too much makeup. Okay, and on to concealer. I'm going to use some light reflective concealer under my eyes, which is Revlon Colorstay. Watch, watch which finger you're using. That's the one that's clean. <laughs> you want to suddenly put lots of um, blusher under your eyes. And then just go in and use... I mean, it depends how many spots you've got but worth spending a bit of time just almost like photoshopping yourself a bit I'm going to use a tiny bit of powder but again not too much I don't want a ton of heavy powder I'm just going to use it on my t-zone on my eyes I'm going to use this palette which is by um, Revlon and it is called In The Buff so it's quite nudie natural 
I'm going to use this colour second to the bottom there, which is like a mid-toned brown first. I'm just going to use that all over my eyelid, about two thirds of the way up, just above the socket line. And now I'm going to use the darker shade from the bottom there. I'm just going to draw in a bit of a socket line. I'd say never ever do a whole new look or try something completely different from what you've ever worn before because that could be a disaster as well. I'm using the darker shade from the palette, the one I used in the socket line, and I'm just going to line the eyes. There's a really good story that my grandmother used to tell me about that when she went on a first date with my granddad. And um, there was a famous actress out in the 20s and 30s called Mary Pickford. And she brought out a range of skin tonics. They were drinks that you had. And she decided that she was going to drink one of these things to look fabulous on her first date, having never had it before. And she drank it down, did her makeup, went off. It was an afternoon thing. It was a walk on a promenade of, next to the seaside. And she said she was feeling fabulous because she knew she looked wonderful and she'd had her... Mary Pickford tonic and later on in the day they stopped for sort of tea and um, she was chatting away and flirting with him and it was all going terribly well and she went off to the ladies toilets and um, she'd come out in boils like great big red wheels and lumps and bumps and these spots all over her face like a huge rash it was obviously the Mary Pickford something in that had reacted with the sun and the walking and and um, yeah, she looked like she had sort of measles or something. So um, don't try out anything, any radical beauty treatments. Okay, now liner. I think liner is really important. Lashes and liner, I think, are the most important things on a date because you want your eyes to be expressive. You want them to be sexy without being too over the top. But I think that's where it's at and. I think it needs to be quite simple, but it needs to be done well. So I'm going to use some black liner. So I'm going to start to really get this. I want to have really thick lashes. My lashes, they're okay, but they're not that thick. So I'm thickening them up with this liner. I'm just going to blend it with this e.l.f. smudgy sponge brush. Now, you could do a shape with the liner if you wanted. You could do a little bit of a flick. It's up to you. It depends, what, again, your personality. I think it's nice to have um, the lashes looking nice and thick. And if you want to sort of accentuate and do a little flick, then go ahead. I'm also going to do the bottom lashes. I don't really want a line there. I'm just going to do loads of dots. It looks like thick roots of the lashes. I'm just going to thicken this up towards the outer corner. Now before I finish off the eye makeup, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I think really well curled lashes is essential for a first date. Okay, now I'm going to use mascara. This is Giorgio Armani's Maestro, which I've got quite into, which is the first sort of expensive mascara I've liked in a long time, so it's kind of annoying really, but it's very good. <laughs> Now when it comes to fake lashes, I'd say if you're not used to wearing them, you're not good at applying them, give them a big miss for a first date because you're only going to be worrying that they're going to fall off and feeling uncomfortable. Um, if you are used to applying them, I think little half sets are good to just go on the outer corner or individuals because again, he's never going to notice you've got fake eyelashes on, just going to look like you've got beautiful eyes. So I'm going to use these ones which are Ardell Babies, so they're very very natural, but what I'm actually going to do, these are sort of a full set, I'm going to cut off these end ones, the long ones, I'm going to take about three off the end, so I'm going to use a sort of inner corner and three quarters of the way along, just to thicken up my lashes and give them a little bit more length, but not too much. So that's lashes on and they're about three quarters of the way across and not too long. So he's gonna be none the wiser about those. They're gonna look like your own. For brows, I think just keep them very, very natural. So just fill in, you don't want any harsh lines. Any little gaps you've got, just nice feathery strokes. Onto lips. I think the key thing with lips is you don't want anything that's overpoweringly bright, so like shocking neon pink lips. 
most men don't really get that. It's kind of girls that get that, but men sort of don't. So I think you're better off with something that's quite natural, not too nudey, but just something that um, looks kind of like your natural lip colour. So I'm going to use a li natural lip pencil first, all over, as a base. Because the other thing you don't want to have is having to touch up your lips a lot, because that can be a bit stressful. So I'm just going to go all over with the pencil. And do any corrections as well. And then something like a nice sheer lipstick. This is Sheer Temptations by number seven. And this is called Attract. And this is one of my favourite nude lip colours. It's more of a tawny nude than a pinky nude. If you suit the pinks or the peaches better, then obviously go for that. But this is nice because it's sort of like, it feels a lot like a lip balm. And you don't really need a brush. You don't really even need a mirror to touch up. So if you want to, you can just kind of put it on. And the texture's nice and thin as well. It doesn't feel like... I think the other thing that I find that um, looks kind of a bit off-putting, whether you're on a date or whether you just talk, you know, with someone having dinner, is when they've got just tons and tons of lip gloss or just too much product because it all seems quite gloopy and, and quite sort of unapproachable. So I think it's nice if it's... You know, your lips feel healthy, they feel moisturised, and they look nice without being anything overpowering in terms of texture. So the next thing I'm going to do is just a last little touch of blusher. I'm going to use this Skin Loving Minerals by Prestige and it's a really nice kind of pinky, bright pinky colour. I'm just going to add a little touch of that just onto the apples of the cheeks. Just to finish off, it's quite shimmery this one so I don't want too much of it but just a healthy glow. Contouring, forget it, unless you're brilliant at it. Um, it seems to be on men's radar that that's something they're looking out for. You know, they, 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 they notice the, the stripes and the bad contouring. So give it, a, give it a miss on a first date. You know, just have a nice natural flush. And a first date can be any time, you know, it can, in your life. It can be, you know, obviously when you're 15, when you're very young. It can be in your 40s, you're a single parent. You know, my mum went on a first date about a year ago and she's well in her 60s. So it can be any time of your life. And um, I think the main things are gorgeous natural looking skin not too much foundation not too much powder your skin needs to look fresh like it's you and it's tactile and it's um, real and also eyes I think focus on the eyes because lots of eye contact and um, just really play up your eyes without doing something over the top don't do anything you're not used to so fake eyelashes or red lipstick and all these things I think the best compliment you can get is that your skin looked wonderful and your eyes look beautiful. You know, you just look gorgeous and makeup's not even featuring, you know. So it's enhancing beautiful makeup. And I think just be comfortable and be relaxed because if you're comfortable and relaxed, you look beautiful anyway. So I hope that was helpful.